Instagram is influencing the food consumers want. Meringue pops are trending. So let's give this meringue pop recipe a try. We've created these ones for Hanukkah, but you can sub in your favorite coloring or flavoring to customize these pops to whatever it is you'd like in your shop. We're going to start with our Dawn Exceptional Single Stage Meringue Mix. Traditional meringue is great, but it's really labor intensive. It takes a highly skilled baker and involves expertly beating egg whites. Why bother with those steps when Dawn has a just add water mix that turns out consistent every time? First, we'll add hot water to the bowl. Next, we'll add the mix. We'll mix on low speed for one minute. Scrape the bowl. Next, we'll turn the mixture up to second speed and beat for three minutes. Turn the mixture off. Look at how light and fluffy this meringue is. Now what I do to check for stiff whites is I take the mixing beater and lift it out slowly. These are perfect stiff whites for my pops. If it doesn't hold the point just like this, put it back on the mixer for another minute. This mix is super forgiving, you won't over whip. Take it off the mixer, divide into two bowls. I'm using an apple flavoring because I love the idea of a crispy apple pop, but you can sub in your favorite Bakery Essentials flavoring. A little flavoring, and we'll mix and keep this one white. Next, we'll make blue. I'm using my Chef Master gel colors, which are highly pigmented colors for this side of the meringue. Today, I'm using royal blue with a touch of black. I mix them together with a little bit of flavoring. The two colors I've just created will go into their own Bakery Essentials piping bags. I love these piping bags because they're for single use and I'm not stuck washing piping bags all day long. Clip the ends, then flatten the bags together. Get a third Bakery Essentials piping bag and place a star tip in it. The two prepared bags go inside the original bag. Now, set it aside while you prep your pan. For this recipe, it's important to use a silicone baking mat. Parchment will wrinkle under the pops. Next is time for my secret weapon. <laughs> Our Bakery Essentials snow stick pan coating can be used for literally everything in the bake shop. It's my favorite tool. We'll give the pan a little mist. Now, those of you that worked with meringue before are gonna say, wait a minute, chef, the fat makes the meringue fall. And I will say back to you, not with this mix. This pan spray makes sure your pops will unmold perfectly every time without any breakage. Next, I'm going to place down some popsicle sticks now I'll pipe my meringue in a pretty circular pattern. Top with some beautiful seasonal sprinkles and we're ready to go. Place the meringue pops in an oven that's been turned down to 200 degrees. They honestly dry for between 12 and 16 hours depending on where you are. I like to do this overnight when I'm done with a shop. If your oven doesn't go that low, that's okay. After you've run it all day, place the pans in and turn it off. That residual heat will finish your meringue for you. The next morning, take the pops out and they are perfect and ready to go. For more Instagram-worthy, on-trend inspiration, visit us at dawnfoods.com.